today is Tuesday. Tomorrow morning, I'll be heading out to Mexico. Um, and uh, well, uh, you know the Mazda's got monitors back here, but they're not working. The DVD player's not working, so I'm gonna install the Roku stick I have on the Roku stick I have. in um, in the living room since I don't need it no more. So I'm gonna install this in the car. So um, let me show you guys. Okay, so this is the original um, receiver. I don't know what these things called for the for the uh, monitors on the headrest. So this came with the with the headrest monitors installed in the car already. But like I said, the DVD player is not not working, and it's got an aux cable right here, an aux input. So I went and bought this. So this is like a an HDMI um, converter. <laughs> To, to AV this is what it is um, this thing was 65 bucks HDMI input to audio video output so that's what I need and well since it's an HDMI input all I have to do is grab my um, Broku stick Install it here. And um, get some power to it. And for the power, I'm using one of these. Using the power from this action, uh, whatever that thing's called. And I brought it in through here. I made a hole with the, um, that hole with my drill. And remove this plastic. This plastic and the cable is going all the way through here, as you can see right here. So I put the screws back on. This is gonna supply some power to the Roku stick. So this one hooks into this one. This one hooks into that one. I'm gonna twist it. There we go. I kind of had to use both hands right there. And this one goes into the Roku. I'm going to push everything back in there just so it won't be in the way. And I'll be using, guys, my um my mobile hotspot on my phone for the Wi-Fi. Sorry guys, I had to use both hands. So there it is, uh, the light should go on. There it is, the light went on. So that means that the Roku stick is working. So I'm gonna tuck everything back in there where it won't be in the way. Right there. It's flashing, but that's the way it stays. I'm a... So, before I put everything back together, let me get some power and go back to see the monitors to see if everything's working. Okay, okay, we're here in the back. Let me turn this thing on. We are at DVD player. I'm gonna change it to aux num aux input two. That's aux one. Second unit, and that's aux two. There we go. There it is, guys. Check that out. This one's off, but let me turn it on and do the same thing. It's in DVD player. Now we're gonna internal game. Aux one, second unit. Oh, there we go. That's the second unit. Same, but we're gonna go to Ox 2 there it is so there it is guys um let me turn on the wi-fi my okay, phone wi is on so we're gonna go ahead and try this thing out there it is i'm using the controller from the house guys how cool is that let me know what you guys think
Okay guys, so now we're watching Netflix. Um, I am missing the controller for the for the monitors. I do have them. I did have them. Can't find them now. So basically, my phone is the one with the Wi-Fi um, hotspot. So I just want to show you guys that it is working. So see, this is what I mean. I don't know if you could tell, but there's a small, there, of course, there's a big the, the screen, and then you can see this section right here. This is where I need the controller to make this thing fit the screen, and that's where where um I'm kind of stuck right now. I mean, the what I did is working perfectly. Um, you know, you play Roku and everything, Netflix here in your your car. But see, um, that's what I'm talking about. That's the um, that's YouTube. And YouTube is working perfectly. Let me show you guys. Um, the audio is, is also really good. You can hear everything on the on the both speakers here, on the car. But that's what I kind of hate because of um that small that see. I need that thing to fit the whole screen. What if you win something way too big? What if it's no big deal with room to spare? But besides that, guys, everything everything is working perfectly. It'll be perfect for the trip because the guys, I mean, the kids will, you know, always want us to be on YouTube. And uh, well, this is a way, good way to do it. Keep them off the tablet, and all they need is that and this. Um, I think Chucky did something. But um, yeah, I need to look for the control. I do have it. I can't find it. You see me over there in the mirror. What's up, guys? Um, but um, but yeah, as soon as I find it, I'll make this thing to fit the screen, and it'll be perfect. So yeah, guys. Um, just wanted to show you guys that. So let me get everything ready. Let me look for the controller though. And if I find it, I'll um. And if I do find it, well, I'll show you guys how that thing um looks with the. With the full screen on the on the watching everything on the full screen and and see how that looks but um yeah guys i think it's pretty cool i actually really like it i really like it it beats um it beats um having dvds and stuff like that and even though the dvd player wasn't working this is way better so yeah guys let me know what you guys think and um okay guys so um the things that you're gonna need to get this done in your car of course are the monitors and that little receiver that you guys see but if you guys do have the monitors i'm pretty sure a lot of people a lot of people right now still have the monitors because they were something pretty cool like back i don't know how many years ago you know everybody had monitors on their cars now um i'm pretty sure they still have monitors but there will be more kind of like tablet kind of monitors so um but if you if you still have those old monitors i'm pretty sure you have the same receiver so you're gonna need that hdmi converter um i'll leave a link up here mine was 65 guys but um i ordered a new one and i replaced it um for one that was from i think it was like five bucks out of the out of ebay i'll leave the link in the description like i said um because the 65 dollar one i used in my daughter's room because um her tv even though it's a flat screen it's pretty old and it doesn't have the hdmi input so i ended up putting that in, in my in my um daughter's tv and used the 599 dollar one on the car as you're watching this video i'm back from mexico so if that makes sense you know um because i know it's pretty soon for me to switch the cable but i mean i already went to mexico i'm back now um i switched the cable so like i said i'll leave the link in the description you're gonna need also a roku stick um similar to the one you guys saw in the video i will also leave a link to that in my description or maybe up here if i can't put it up here if you guys don't see it up here that's because um um there wasn't room for another link or maybe you know youtube didn't let me uh, but either way i'll leave both of the links in the description for the hdmi converter and for the roku stick which is pretty much what you're gonna need um for the power on the car i use one of those old um cigarette lighter um lighter chargers that that'll work so try them first and and see if they work so that's pretty much you're gonna need guys um that's all i need the trip the TVs were working perfectly. The only thing I, I was having issues were um, 
with the, with the controller. Um, it was kind of disconnecting, but I found a way to to keep it on, and that's not unplugging the cigarette lighter um, here because um, I left it already for like three days plugged in, and it didn't hurt the battery at all. Well, that, that'll keep the controller from um, disconnecting, and you will have to match it with the Roku stick again. So yeah, guys, like I said, um, HDMI converter, Roku stick, and of course, uh, you will need internet from your phone. The way I was doing, I was doing uh, activating the hotspot from my phone and passing the internet to the Roku stick, and it worked perfect, guys. Even though it's a phone and the, the Wi-Fi or the internet is not as strong as a home internet, it was enough, it was um, strong enough to power the Roku stick without having any any issues. So, so yeah, guys. Hope you guys like the, the video. Uh, make sure you guys subscribe, leave a comment, hit the little bell icon because that way you'll know when I upload another video. And that's pretty much it guys. Thank you for watching and see you guys in the next one.